What's up? It's a little dark, but that's okay because I'm just uh, ah, sitting in reverence, an interesting shift in the weather, and just relaxing a bit before I get to meet um, a, a wonderful divine being and work on some energy system training and I was reflecting a bit and wanted to share this out something so powerful so easy it's something that I share with all of my clients um, because this is what I do I work with the energy systems of the body in order to really maximize your experience as a human being and to to live in vitality and prosperity and and call in all of the things that you're hoping and wishing for for 2020. How do you drop them into your 3D reality? Well, I wanted to share out just this this super easy exercise and it's really a matter of um, a few quick decisions. And I, you know, I hope, I hope that I give you a couple fingers in your rib cage because that lights me up. And, you know, I'm, I'm here, I know on the planet to, to be that, to, to poke, but I don't just poke, you know, I poke in order to provoke and, and hopefully elevate you so that you simply get to feel as amazing as you deserve to. And, um, so here, here's really something I'd love for you to reflect on. If your soul is calling you forth to this, you know, it's, it's 2020, right? Like, and we're all kind of feeling this, this shift. Your soul is ready perhaps for something more. And we're being inundated with all of this information. And there's just so much out there for us to consume. And it's easy to get distracted. And it's easy to just be sucked into to this world of go, 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 hustle, 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 rush, rush, rush. And, you know, we get to be intelligent about this, right? We get to understand that we can optimize our sensitivity to the information that we're taking in. And that's what intelligence actually is. Um, So there are so many distractions out there that can take your attention off yourself. And the truth is that paying attention to you is the single best investment that you can make with the hugest ROI, so how sensitive are you to your own habits, your thoughts, your feelings, and your, and your body sensations? It's all sensory, right? We've got, we got 24 brain nerves, 24 cranial nerves that, that control what we do. And they're all controlled by one single command center within the brain, which is governed by one powerful set of glands that literally um, are, are responding to our DNA. And our DNA is receiving information from all this stimuli in the form of light and relaying that information to the brain and coding your actions, and therefore your reality. So your training starts now, if you're ready. You're ready? So here's the deal. There are things in your life that are depleting you. And there are things in your life that are invigorating you. Can you identify them? Right? Pay attention and identify them. So I'm offering this for the next uh, couple of days, right? 24 hours. Run an experiment on your inner lab. The inner laboratory, which is this magnificent organism called the human body. And so for 24 hours, jot down your daily routine as you live it. So it's it's just, it could just be a quick, you know, even in your notes section of your phone, just each activity that you're like, oh, I get up, I think this, I eat this, I shower, get the kids ready, I think this, I do this, I and, and just go through your day. That's day one. Day two, notice how each item on your daily routine list makes you feel in your body. And you can just do a simple annotation next to each item, put either a plus or a minus. 
and you got to just get into the feeling center of your body. And, and it's actually really easy once you get a little practice with your body sensations, because essentially our sensations are kind of broken up into like four major, major sensations, major groups. You, you can either feel pleasant and excited or unpleasant and excited. You can feel unpleasant and calm or unpleasant and excited. So it's pleasant or unpleasant, excited or calm. And it's a combination of those few things. So for example, if you're feeling anxious, that would be unpleasant and excited. If you're feeling, if you're feeling, um, and when I say excited, I mean aroused, like aroused. If you're feeling excited, then you're feeling pleasant and aroused. Makes sense, right? If you're feeling sad, you're feeling calm and unpleasant. If you're feeling angry, you're feeling aroused and unpleasant. So you can play around with that a bit, but, but you know, what's depleting you and what's invigorating you and just put a plus or minus and then tally it up. What's your net energy? Do you have more pluses or more minuses? If you have more minuses, you get to take ownership of that. If you have more pluses, but you're looking for even more expansion, you can take ownership of that too. You're in the driver's seat either way. And then next you get to look at your intentions. So all the goals you set for 2020, and then it's really, oh, okay, well, what am I actually doing every day? What self-promoting thoughts, behaviors, habits am I, am I doing that are actually in alignment with my, with my aim for the year? Because then it will be invigorating versus what are the things I'm doing that are not in alignment with my life's aim and they're not. And then we can get, we can get deeper into well, what are the unconscious or subconscious really, what are the subconscious commitments? What are the subconscious patterns that are keeping you in these habits that don't serve you? So it's so, it's so in our reach right? And, and I say to my clients all the time, and I know because I walk through this too, and I'm in this holy human experience as well, but I've, I've, I've come through and seen where I have had to make that, that decision, get really honest with myself about, am I, am I, am I rising to my destiny or falling to my fate? And that was something that really terrified me. And it terrified me more than actualizing my dreams. And it was time to really make some decisions and take a look at, wow, what am I, what am I actually doing and what am I believing that's keeping me here by default versus rising to the destiny? So I hope that was helpful. If you know anybody out there who could benefit from this, please feel free to share it out. I love nothing more than helping people wield their energy so that they get to live in this, in this un- just unprecedented time in this beautiful, beautiful vessel house that we call a human being. So good. Peace out. Much love. Hope this was helpful.